All right, everyone. So Hamlin Seed Company just arrived. Oh, never mind. She got it. So that's great news. So Sadie just got back and she told us some exciting news. A semi just arrived. It has a delivery. Stay tuned to see what it is. Just got done bringing um, a bunch of pairs up into having born, and there's a cow that just calved on the lot. So let's go watch Elsie and Sadie bring her in. Got a mommy there with a baby, and Elsie said there's two more, but we cannot see them right now. But our feed shed is full of cows with their babies, which these two pins are empty now. And there are some over here. So we have to bring these all out, and then we'll bring those three in. That's her after birth that she's eating. It's actually really good for them to eat it. It helps their milk production come in better. It has a lot of good nutrients in it, but it's really gross. just dipping the calves on umbilical cord and iodine and we try to do it as soon as we can um, after they've been born. The reason why we do it is just to keep bacteria and diseases, stuff like that from going up in the calves and umbilical cord. So I'm gonna give you an all a quick update on how many calves we have so far. We have 124 calves on the ground and the average is about 10 calves born a day. And yeah, we still have to fill out the rest of this whiteboard, so stay tuned. So now dad is locking all of the cows off of the feed apron because we don't bed the feed apron and it's kind of a sloppy mess usually so that way no cows um, calve out on it during the night because then the cows usually are a mess. <laughs> I actually just got done giving puppies a bath and squeegeeing out the dog barn because we have uh, hopefully a puppy is going to be going home today. But a semi just arrived. It has a delivery. Stay tuned to see what it is. So you can tell in that last clip what it was, but it's actually a dozer blade. And our plan is to put it on one of our tractors to use for a packing tractor. We're all excited actually because. The Steiger, it seems like it's almost always broke down with oil leaks and hydraulic leaks and it's just so old, it's, yeah, it's time for a packing tractor instead. Sadie just got back from uh, going and checking uh, our girls' little cow herd, and she told us some exciting news. Rose, which is the Longhorn Watusi cross, had a baby, and it looks just like her. Well, not just like her, but it kind of has the same pattern. It's um, white with red speckles on it, but I'm gonna. she said she videoed it, so I'm going to show those clips here. 
Oh my goodness, guys, look what I just found. Oh, he's so cute. Rosie, did you have a baby? You had a cute one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Now that's the cutest pair I've seen in a while. So Sadie just called and she wants me to bring her a half a bottle of colostrum um, to our farm where us girls' this little cow herd is because one of the heifers calved and she is not letting the calf nurse. Um, so I'm gonna mix up a bottle of colostrum. Alright everyone, so Hamlin Seed Company just arrived there at Beck's dealer. They are delivering our uh, corn for 2022, seed corn. We're pretty excited, so hopefully I can get some on film, unloading it, putting it in the shop because before long we are going to be planting. That is actually really exciting. There is a cow that is calving and she just got its, uh, the calf's feet out and it's his back feet. So we're gonna pull the calf. Never mind, she actually just had it. She was determined to get it on her own. Usually they can't have their calves backwards um, on their own, but she got it. So that's great news. All 
right, everyone. We just finished taking um, pictures of our little Nigerian dwarf babies. They are for sale. I will show the pictures right here. Uh, we have two does and two bucks, and they are bottle babies, so they're really tame. They're so cute. And so if any of you are interested, you can contact us, and we'll give you more details. <laughs> Elsie just checked, and there is a cow calving, so let's go watch her. going so as you all may know I have been grooming in our dog barn our vet told us that we had to quit grooming in our dog barn so uh, we ordered a new bathtub and we also ordered an electric table for it and now we are grooming in our shop so this is kind of my new grooming station it's actually really handy I wasn't so, so sure if it'd work at first um, but it really is working out it's going pretty good and I am absolutely loving this electric table this thing saved your back <laughs> anyway so here are a couple of before and afters of some dogs I've got to groom enjoyed watching this video of calving season getting ready for planting season hopefully in the next video we will start planting we'll have to see it'll depend on how the weather is but i hope you all enjoyed the video we'll see you next week